hello this is part two of the car cruiser restoration in this part I will show you what we've done to the interior of the caravan since the uh, uh, interior shots of part one 99% or more of the caravan interior now is finished and as you'll see it's um, only just a few little odds and ends that need tidying up so I thought I'd let you have a look at uh, what we've done it's taken a while a lot of hard work blood sweat and tears but um, I think it's worthwhile so um, without further ado I'll now give you a tour of the interior right so we'll start with the kitchen area see the toilet compartment and the entrance door which all the varnishing now has been done and it's uh, looking rather spiffing come through to the sink unit and the cupboards and the floor which is uh, we managed to get as close as we possibly could to some period blue and white checker floor covering and now we pan up to the pride and joy of our kitchen which is the Color Gas B500 cooker. We found this on the eBay and uh, had to go several miles to pick it up but after refurbishment and restoration it's an absolute gem. Works beautifully and we have cooked into it and it's um, a work of art. See the uh, pan shelf and the gas light is uh, back in place, all nice and neat and tidy. As you can see, the double bed's now finished. All the legs and the pull-out and the upholstery, and the backrests are all done. Now if we spring round to the front of the caravan, see the single beds which are all finished floors carpeted everything's varnished and the curtains are fitted and pan up through to the roof it's all nicely painted in as close to the original colour as we could find and pan round through to the uh, other door which is now in full working order before the lock had uh, broken so you couldn't really get in and out of it but that's all been uh, restored and the, the interior door skins have been replaced back along see the bunks for the backrests chest of drawers. We were extremely lucky to find a link mat manufacturer that produced an exact replica of the original car cruiser mats that were fitted into the mat wells on each door. Um, so we were, as I say, extremely lucky to find that. The old rubber link foot mats. come round to the other side of the caravan you can see the full size single and then panning through the wardrobe the china cabinet which is one of the few things left to finish the, inter the interior of the china cabinet Pan down now to the cupboards. The formica top's been replaced and the beading all varnished. And then we come back around to where we began at the kitchen. You may have noticed um, during the filming uh, this rather nice heater, electric heater, single bar. Um, again, picked up and uh, on eBay. 
in absolutely beautiful original condition. Only needed a polish and a clean. And unusually, it's an HMV heater, which I've never come across before, with a very, again, um, rare and unusual parabolic reflector, which takes the heat to practically every part of the caravan. So a fitting match perhaps for the HMV wind-up gramophone that we have here as well. Here's our gramophone, HMV model, uh, picked up in a local charity shop. Wasn't working when I found it, but I, after stripping the, the, uh, the motor, giving it a good clean and some oil, it uh, absolutely works a treat now. So a really nice addition to our vintage caravanning.